Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series, Part 25. We're back here in Old Mother's house, Milton, and uh, it's been a, about a week, maybe a little longer than a week since I last uh, last played. And uh, let's go ahead and get some sleep here. Well, let's first look at our stats. Let's see what day it is here. Uh, we're on day 39, so moving along. Moving along. And uh, right now we just have the 1% uh, risk of intestinal parasites and a sprain risk just because we're tired and. Yeah, we're a little. O well, we're a little encumbered. A little overweight here, so. I guess we're not that tired. No, we're not that tired. I guess I was looking at the hunger meter. But yeah, I, I, my family. Well, I haven't been sick, but my family's been sick, so. I've been kind of playing a uh, house nurse with everybody and running people, well, running one daughter to the uh, urgent care. I uh, thought maybe she had uh, uh, something like a sinus infection or a ear infection or something like that, but it turns out it was okay. She just needed a little bit of rest, hydration, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing <laughs> the last week, that and work. So anyway, I am back. Everybody's healed up and feeling much better now. Okay, what do I want to have? Uh, I guess I'll go with some cattail stock. Oh, that's new. There's been an update since a pretty large update since I last played. They added a new region. It's uh, it's called Zone of Contamination. I'm going to go ahead and just eat a couple of these cattail stocks. Just for the heck of it. Because I don't feel like walking downstairs. Honestly. So that's a, it's a pit mine. And uh, it's accessed from the transfer pass. Uh, so it's all polluted. Has a... Uh, well, not all of it polluted, but it's polluted. And it has some uh, sick, affected wolves who are kind of like extra desperate. They got some new equipment for that to deal with that. Like, like a respirator, gas mask sort of thing with uh, cartridges and miner's coat, miner pants, chemical boots, hard hat. Uh, a lot of extra buildings. They said it's like the, the most built up area they've, they've ever had. So maybe we'll uh, get around to checking that out sooner rather than later, hopefully. But I would like to, before we go on a big trip like that, I would like to have the, the bed roll, the bear, bear roll, ready to go. So, uh, they also added a travois, which is like basically a sledge that you pull behind yourself. You can make it out of branches, and, uh, or I shouldn't say branches, but uh, out of uh, saplings, and uh, I guess deer hides. That's used for pulling around extra weight. So I guess you can load it up with about double your your actual carry weight. But you can only walk a certain speed. Uh, and the more you load it up, the slower you walk. And then you can't go up like like steep inclines with it and things like that. Obviously, if you come to a... Uh, need a few more. Need a little bit more to eat here. If you come up to a uh, rope, you're going to have to, you know, take things up. In multiple trips. Should be good now. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good now. So we can get ten in. Yeah, there we go. Ten hours should be good. All right, let's get some rest here. So that'll be interesting. I don't know how much we'll use that, but uh, we'll go fully rested. It's like our house is possessed. I don't, I don't know if she has a uh, computer or not. I don't think she does. I remember correctly. I'm not sure if maybe she does. Is there a radio around here? Sounds like it. Hmm. What else is there? Um, oh, insulated flasks. They added those so you can load up a flask with a bunch of... Uh, I'm just looking for a computer. I guess I can turn on some music. But... Uh, loaded up with a bunch of hot tea or coffee or even soups like tomato soup uh, you just can't mix what you put in there so you can't have like one soup one coffee and one tea that would just be nasty right um, hand coverings have been added so that when we're walking around you can't see it right now but uh, whatever we're wearing should be uh, on the screen as we're as we're walking around in first person so that's that's a long requested item from like years and years and years ago um, and now they have a harvesting animation, I believe they added. So, that should be cool too. I guess I woke up a little early, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and head downstairs and 
Maybe do a little organizing for the trip ahead. I guess I could have left the uh, bear roll on the ground before I went to sleep, but that's, yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. So, okay, let's uh, see what we want to take with us here, what we want to leave behind. I definitely want to take the stem with me. Field dressing your kill. We'll have to check and see if we need that one. Oh, hold on. I need that one. This is this is my cabinet. Putting them in the wrong spots. Uh, Tip-ups. Uh, they're a little heavy. I don't really think they're that, that really useful. So I'm not going to take... I can always make more. Uh, jerry can. It's heavy, but... I think I'll take it because it's just fuel is so hard to come 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 across. Let's see here. I probably don't need the acorns. I can find those anywhere. Birch bark. I'll keep that. Broken arrow. We're gonna want to harvest that. And then some coal. Don't need the charcoal. Don't need the cooking oil. Honestly. Birch sapling. We definitely want to keep that. Some firewood. We can get that along the way. If we need it. We got more lantern fuel there. Green flares. Yeah. With that. Maple syrup, I'm not too big on that. That's 15%. Uh, the flour, we'll find more of that. I'm not too worried about that either. I uh, probably don't need all those rose hips. I can find those pretty much anywhere. Um, same for the rushy mushrooms. Let's get, a, get rid of those. Uh, scrap metal, I can harvest that anywhere as well. Sticks. I'll only keep like a couple of these. I, I mean, I, I can pick those up anywhere. Stones, I'll keep two with me. Um, actually, no. Let's get rid of those. Because I have arrows. Don't need that much water, because we're only going... We're just going to walk back to... To, to, uh, to camp office. Never Probably don't so need this many torches. Life. So now we're down to a good good weight. We can look through here and see what we really want. Like these crow feathers. I, I do want to take those with me. Candy bar, sure. And a birch bark. Uh, wool scarf, no, we're good. Better items than that. Oh, we'll take this little fishing lure. It's so light, it's like 0 .01 kilograms. Uh, some fuses. I think we had some in... We already installed all that. We are just looking for a battery for this area, but I couldn't find anyone. Or, couldn't find one anywhere. Survive the outdoors. I think we need that book. Wires don't need that. And a bunch of water. Uh, yeah, we don't need to carry that much water with us. Uh, new chocolate bar, we'll take that. Bunch of cloth. Honestly, I don't need the cloth. I take a couple, though. I don't think it's that heavy. Yeah, it is, it's like 10, 10 each, but we're still underweight. Alright. I feel like we're... Let me take a look here at the books we got. Where's that book at? Use. So we're, uh... Got another three hours to go on this book. Might read here while we got the chance. Yeah, let's do that. Let's read real quick here while we got the chance. We have enough calories. Yeah, we could probably eat something. Let's go through here and see what we can eat. I know we have lots of food to eat. Cold pinnacle peaches. Some maple syrup. 850 calories is a good one. I think peaches. That. Take a coffee with me. What do we got here? Pork and beans. That's a little sketchy. That's nice. I like that one. And we got this uh, ruined rainbow trout. That's okay. We could always cook that up. If we really wanted to. I think I might. I think I might just go for it. I got... Not worried too much about matches now, so... I'm gonna just go ahead and cook up this rainbow trout. Eat the whole thing. Uh... Those are ruined. Those are ruined. And I think these are... Yeah, these are pretty sketchy. Alright, let's just do it. Let's, uh... Make ourselves a little fire here. Turn this off. And we'll do it the... Do it with a torch here. Here we go. I think I have two of those now, right? These are torch, tinder plug, cedar wood. 
we'll see how cold it is in the morning. We might just end up reading a, a couple hours of that book until the sun starts to warm up a little bit outside. Because these mornings seem to be getting colder and colder. Why didn't that work? Uh, we, uh, we failed. Am I out of... Uh, well, I don't want to use that. Hmm. I have any... Can I borrow a book? Borrow a book. Let me borrow a book. Well, let me actually use that as... No, it won't. Oh, shoot. I thought I had more tinder plugs in there. I thought I had some cattail stocks, but apparently not. Well, here, let me, let me borrow one of these. Need a, I'll need a couple of these, I think. Let's go with this one. 16 percenter. So I'll throw this one down. And we'll go ahead and grab the other one. There it is. So I'm going to need to take a stick and break it up into a plug here. Sticks. Did I get rid of I did. I got rid of all my sticks. Just give me like two sticks. Harvest this. Hopefully, this just go out in five minutes. How much time we got left? Ah, oh, we got enough. I think we got enough. You know what? I could like this one. Nope, it's ruined. It burned out. All this to avoid using the birch bark. 95% chance of success here, so we should be good. We should be good with this one. There we go. All this to cook some fish. Okay, I think it's out now. Yeah. Alright, let's add some fuel to it. Oh, that's right. I had some uh, water on here. Is it? Is it good? Yeah, it's, it's actually good water. Yeah. The boil dry. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which water do we get there? Just curious. Significant several liters. Okay, where's that fish at? It's over here somewhere. Did I pick it up? Maybe I did. Did I not pick up the fish? Let's not. Oh well. I gotta just cycle through all these to get to the this again. There it is. Right there. Too much stuff to carry. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's cook this fish up. It should shoot it back up to 50%. Yeah, 50% condition. From 0 to 50. So that's that's pretty good. That would 17 minutes until ready. Now. That's not too bad. Take a peek outside, see what the weather's looking like. Oh, it looks cold. It's a negative 43 degrees Celsius. That's cold. That is cold. Go stand by this for a nice warm fire. It's 24 degrees Celsius. I think I'll go for that. Alright. What else do I want to do? Do I want to do anything else? I don't know. Do I want to cook anything? I can do some of this, but honestly, oil and flour, I guess we could do that. Let's do that. Try not to let them go bad this time. Let's grab the oil and flour. Now we got it in here somewhere. Might as well. Got nothing else to do. We'll make a peach pie. How about that? Sounds good, yeah. Let's make the peach pies. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Is that gonna burn? 37 minutes until burn. Okay, I got 51 minutes until ready. Do we have another peach? I wonder if I could use like the nasty chemical peaches. 
it's gonna mess up my recipe. We can try it. I think my stomach is eating itself. Or if it sort of like adds condition. Let's try it. Got a couple ruined ones. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe some coffee wouldn't be too bad. I'll take some of this oats. Acorns. Let's see what we can do here. Let's turn this off. Do we have some more options? We got another peach pie. It's gonna be okay. Twenty to eighty-five percent. That's what it's saying here. It's gonna give me a headache though. I've had these before. That's right. Twenty minutes. It's already fifty-one minutes. One minute. Uh oh. Jeez. Add some. That's a fuel there. Can I do any more? What am I out of? What do I need? I need more flour. It's right over here. I got some flour here. Do that. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Make some more of these. And I'm thirsty. I need to get something to drink. Uh, 30 minutes until burn, so that one's ready. Cool. Well, let's get something to drink. For me. I got all this water and I'm just not drinking it. Let's take another one? Nah. Let's do some of this stuff here. Just 11 minutes until ready. 37 minutes. Okay, what can I do with a cooking pot? Can I do anything with this? It's different. Porridge. I can make a porridge. Time to cook. 16 minutes. See how long that has about 11 minutes, so we're gonna say 10 minutes now. Let's see how one minute. So yeah, it took about took about 10 minutes to make that porridge start to prepare it. So that one's ready. 26 minutes until ready. 14 minutes, 11 minutes. We'll be eating well the next couple days, I think. I mean, other than the headaches. 17 minutes until ready. Five minutes. And one more. There we go. Take that. Do another bannock. Might have to drop some gear. Looks like we got quite a bit of food. I think I just do one more. I wonder what my uh, uh, this has got to be helpful with my cooking too, right? I think the last one. This will be the last one. Could have some water going back there too. But honestly, I do. 48 minutes on the water. I guess we could just leave it here on the stove. Try to time it so that the, it boils as it's going out. Um, it seems like a little. Let me get some. Let me get some uh, reclaimed wood here. Put this away so it stops squeaking. Got some reclaimed wood here. There we go. That should be enough to get us the correct amount of time for the water to boil. Yeah, I think so. It seems like a waste to use coal in that. One hour fifty-seven. Yeah, that'll be good. It won't won't be long enough to burn either. Take that one off. Let's see how we're doing on food. Got lots of options here. How much is this? Only four hundred twenty calories, but eighty-four, eighty-four. 83, 84, 84. So I think I'm maxing out my... Because it said 20 to 84% is what it'll come out uh, as for the condition. Looks like these are coming out at the top conditions. So that's good. We're going to eat this first, though. It's only 290 calories after all that. That's disappointing. I thought it was going to be a bigger fish in that. Oh, well. We'll 
speed things along here. Now we can just leave these on here. They'll melt and then it'll boil and then this will be out and we'll be happy. We'll have extra water here. We have a ton of water we're carrying around anyway. Well, we had we had like over five liters until we started cooking, but uh, make sure I don't make any stinky. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're going to eat this fish because that's going to let off a little bit of smell, even though there's no stink lines. All right, everything else looks pretty good. Gonna eat one of these peach pies here. Get the headache. I wonder if I can study with a headache. Probably can't, can you? <laughs> oh well. Well, let's see if we can start heading back. We'll make sure I have the bear roll. It's pretty cold, but we can always stop in places if we need to. Yeah. Alright. Might do some reading if I can do it here real quick. Now that it's light, I have a nice amount of calories on board. I think I'll eat another peach pie. Might as well stack them. I wonder if it's going to add another hour. It healed my headache and then gave me another headache. So, uh... I healed my headache with a headache, and then just basically reactivated it, so it doesn't make it like two hours worth of headaches. So that's good. Okay. Alright, let's, um, let's go ahead and, uh, see if we can read a book. I'm curious. Probably not. So drop this thing. Okay, let's use this. Bet you it won't let you. Oh, it, it did. I thought I was going to say I'm in too much pain to, to read, but apparently not. So this should be done now. Yep, 47 minutes. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work out great. Oh, we'll take a torch out of here, though. Oh, that's a good torch. Nice. Very nice. I take a couple torches. As long as it's not... Oh, well, let me take another one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's see if I can walk it out there. I didn't see much wind, but... I guess we'll find out here. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look here and see if I got the uh, bear. Well, I think I do. Yeah. There's a bear hide. There's a sapling. Cool. All right. Let's get moving here. We got what we came for. Start heading on back to home base. If we can take a nice direct route there, or if we're gonna be interrupted. I checked the screen box already. Oh, these aren't... Okay, I thought those were the metal containers or not. We're gonna go. Probably that car. Okay, we're making a run for it. There's a house there if we need it. Okay, he's on us, but we're gonna make it to the gas station. We're just gonna take it easy. Go to the gas station. He should just tail us the whole way there. I don't see him, but he's there somewhere. And we'll go inside the gas station warm up at the same time. There's a deer up there we could get him to maybe go for. Oh, nice. No, yeah, we'll just spend an hour in a gas... We'll just read in the gas station for an hour and let him reset. That'll be the safe play. All right, in we go. All right. Well much to do here. I guess we can just snuff this out. Hacksaw, we don't need that. Okay. Just trying to land it on top of there. So it looked like it was on fire, but that didn't work out. Alright. Let's get in here and do a little bit more reading. So, we're done with this book. Uh, won't let us read anymore. So we must have... Yeah, research already completed. So, we'll, uh, we'll spend an hour reading this. Then we'll do one more hour, probably. Let's see. It sounds like it's pretty calm outside. I don't hear any rattling or rustling of the, of the roof or anything. No, it's not too bad. Pretty bad when it's negative 15, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's, let's do it. Not too bad at all. Alright, just being extra cautious here. We're doing good on weight, right? About his food. Oh, yeah. We can go down and up ropes, no problem. Which is 
we need to be ready for. That should be that deer. Yep, that's that deer. There it is. Massive rack of a deer. Right. I guess no need to run. All right, here we go. We're at the ranger, ranger hut here, or whatever it's called. Should be able to just be here for a minute. We've got some raw ptarmigan. Okay. I how much. Oh yeah, they've they've made this a night a little bit warmer of a zone, I think, than what it used to be. I don't remember it was like this warm, but uh, yeah, it seems a bit warmer. Okay. Well. I think it's time to move on. Probably go with not that. Probably go with the uh, red flare. There we go. Oh, didn't even see you there. Didn't even hear him either. There's my rope. I don't want to pick up too many sticks. Kind of on the border of carry weight right there. Let's head on down. We have lots of uh, stamina down there in the. for energy, I guess. Down there in the bottom left. Not, not very fatigued at all, so. shouldn't be an issue. I'm just ready in case this wolf's down here and I end up getting too close in this fog. Close for comfort. I always try to stay over to on this side a little bit. It seems to work pretty well for me. Usually. There's a rabbit there if we need a decoy rabbit as well. Uh, see, oh, I didn't even notice it. Uh, yeah, speaking of fingers, look at my hands. I got the, the gloves on. That's nice. And uh, the bottom part of whatever type of clothing you're wearing as well, like uh, your sleeves, the bottom part of your sleeves. We don't want that. Damn. Uh, Freeze. A rope should be here somewhere. Is it over this way? I think it's over this way. Get off this ledge. There we go. Or slope, I should say. There we go. Climbing area. There it is. All right, well, we made it. Up we go. Hypothermia and all, but we're going to be going into a nice warm cave here shortly, so shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on how to, uh, how to get to the new zone once we're ready to head over there. Used to be, it wasn't that big of a deal. It never, there wasn't that many regions to get lost in transition zones and all that. Now they kind of all, they all kind of all the newer ones over the last four years are kind of blurring and uh, blurring together. So I just have to make sure that I'm going the right way. I think it's going to be the same transition zone that was the uh, airfield, if I remember correctly. Because if memory serves, there's like a kind of a crossroads where you can go one way or the or a different way. I, I bet you, uh, I think one way was kind of blocked off. I bet you they opened that up. Um, but that's just me guessing. So 
have to figure that out. I know it's a really long transition zone. Um, I don't think there was any threats on it. It's kind of like Ravine in that S in, in that regard. All right, I'm gonna move a little faster here because hypothermia. All that. Oh, hold on. I need to. If I see some uh, cattail heads, I want to stop and grab those though. I know I picked up the stocks here. I'll probably drop the heads here. You can use it just for the tinder. There's one. Yep. There we go. Just a couple tinder. Oh, here's one that I missed. Somehow. There we go. Alright. Now I'm overweight. Oh yeah. Because my uh, energy's getting a little low. Feeling a little low energy. Next thing I think we need to do is work on a satchel. Like a, well, once we get the bear bedroll. Um, but while we're doing that, waiting for those to cure, we can start maybe hunting the moose for the uh, for the satchel so we can add a little bit of more, more carry capacity. All right, here we go. Go get more. checking on the dogs. Let's see where they were at. They're both asleep in the crate, buddied up together. The new pups. Don't really need this at this point safe rolling through here. Of course, new updates, you never know. Could have uh, moved uh, Fluffy around and not told anybody. It's nice that I can see pretty well in this cave during the day. I, I'm not sure how well you guys can see, but I can see pretty well, so I'll get us through this as quickly as possible. I don't see any coal. No, no regenerated coal yet. No respawn coal. Oh, I thought I saw the boot there, and I, for a second I thought it was a piece of coal, but it wasn't. Okay. Maybe I missed one when I came through and did all the harvesting. Yeah, we'll hang out at the uh, trapper homestead and relax for a little bit. How are we doing on health? Yeah, just a hypothermia and the sprain risk. Okay. Should be good to travel with what we got. Uh, we'll probably stay there for a little while, eat we'll eat the rations we have. And let's see. Any moose down here? Sometimes there is. We need to find some place to escape this cold. I think I found that place. It's always nice when you walk out of, out of a cave system and there's a wonderful little place for you to go get warm like this. I love this this area. Mystery Lake's just the best. Are these all done? They're in good shape. I'm gonna take a few of these. Yeah. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's see. I'll take that aside. Uh, this is all ruined, but we can cook that and get some more cooking experience, right? So, that'll be nice. Oh, we got lots of wood here. Wolf pelt. Bear hide's almost, <laughs> it's almost cured. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, make this our curing area. Lots of cured guts. So, lots of cured rabbit pelts, I guess, for repairs. That'll be nice. I forgot everything I left here, but uh, we come back with some good things, so. There's going to be other crafting. And uh, yeah, I'll drop, I'll drop that here in a minute. I think I just lost my audio. Yeah, I did. Yep, my earbuds died. Okay, let me uh, let me switch things around here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we got the audio. 
situated now. I came back in, dropped the hide here, put the sapling down here, had a couple bites of the, uh, had some of the rabbit, uh, two pieces of rabbit. So then I realized that uh, I was hearing the audio, but you guys weren't. So I had to change the input on the recording software. And it looks like it's recording audio for both the mic and, there we go. All right, should be good now. Okay, so how are we doing on water? We're doing good on water. Um, we can just read a, read a part of the book here. Maybe, uh, are we on the last chapter? I think we're on the last chapter. Yeah, that's wolf meat. I don't know. Am I ready for that yet? Yeah, I could have another piece if I wanted to. I'd save that for nighttime. That's 8.05. Those two are not worth it, really, for the parasite risk. So I'd eat a, I'd eat a high calorie piece of meat. Um, all right, let's do the, uh, let's do the book here. Let's read the last, last hour here. I might just go for the uh, camp office. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see what we got here. Negative eight degrees. Or really? When it's windy like this? Oh, negative twenty. Okay. Apparently, I wasn't out far enough in the wind. <laughs> All right. I want to put these little pieces of meat over here since they're not really worth a whole lot. Uh, not that one. This one and this one. They're kind of worthless, honestly. And I could do some cooking in here. I do have sun, so I could get a fire going. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm on the right side. And we could cook all this up. I'm not sure I can carry yeah, let's, much more. Let's cook all this stuff up here. Okay, I'm gonna put it all inside here, and we'll we'll do a little cooking session. On the, uh, I can, I can barely move. All right, Let's see here. Let me drop. We can use all these to cook. There we go. So get started with that. Uh, I'll go get a fire going outside though. Um, let me just use a piece of cedar wood. I saw it starts a little easier. Of course, I got. I got the book I could always use too. I'm gonna to use that book now that I've finished. I've finished. I have two books, right? Yeah, they're both both completed. Yep. So I can use that to uh, get a fire started, bring it in, and uh, we'll do that. So we'll just use the magnifying glass. Yeah, we'll cook inside. Saving matches. Every match counts. Come on. I forgot we had all this uh, bear meat over here to cook. So this will be nice. There we go. Did it. Yeah, might as well throw a couple pieces on there just for good measure until it until it burns out. Right. I think a minute, uh, hour and five. And, okay, we need, need to add like a little bit more. Maybe these two sticks. That'll be perfect. As long as the wind doesn't shift and blow this out, we'll be fine. Looks like the wind stopped though. Kind of died down. Oh, I do need to take a torch out of here. That's gonna lower the camp, the campfire time. So let's add that last stick. We should be good. So now we should be able to take a torch and have an hour four, an hour, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it works out good for us. All right. I need to drop something. Oh, Just, he, he complains so much about things. Yeah, let's just use a cattail head, who cares? Eh, it's not an emergency. I'm gonna save the books for emergencies if I need it, but let's give this a shot, 60% chance. Even after reading the uh, fire starting book, I could eat anything right now. I think I'm gonna stick with these headphones. Actually, these are my old headphones. I kind of like them better now. Turned out pretty well. All right. So coal. Two, four. I'm gonna save that. Let's just do 
Erwood for now. Yeah. We'll put this out. Now we got a nice fire going. Um, can't really use the can for for a piece of meat like that, so I'm gonna put that over here. And I don't want uneven cook cooking times. I think I'd rather just, for the sake of continuity, I think I'd rather just probably gonna pick up a small piece of meat. Now that I said, yeah, I did. I picked up a smaller piece of meat after after saying that. I wonder if I could take this off, put this down, and actually cut the cooking time. Oh, it's too. Hold on, I can't do it that way, can I? Stay by. I gotta actually go through the menu. Nah, uh, it didn't. It only cut off like t ten minutes. It didn't really do much. Oh well. I tried. I tried. Three hours of cooking time there, lots of fir wood, all that stuff. So, well, now we just kind of hang out here and. Wait for the cooking to be done. We got some out there, but we don't have to worry about that burning because the fire's going to go out um, just after several minutes after that finishes cooking. But we're going to cook the green off of this. I guess we'll just uh, speed up time. Could make multiple campfires outside, but I just kind of feel like oh, I just kind of be like want to be inside for some reason. I don't know. Take that one off. Throw another on. Yeah, still uneven. Oh well, I tried. I tried. I think I need to lay down. Let's see how my stats are here. So carcass harvesting. Wow, we're we're getting close to five. Honestly, um, must have been that bear. You know, gave us a, a pretty big boost. Plus reading the book, I didn't hurt. Cooking, we're getting close to getting up to level five, which is huge. That, that's the biggest biggest stat in my opinion get up to, to level 5 as quick as possible archery we're about to level up here bow sway reduced by 25 and arrow damage increased by 10 that's nice I wonder what we'll get when we get to 3 can't remember what it is guns are obviously out of play gunsmithing revolver rifle all that stuff moments until ready Take the whole thing down. Can I can I leave it in there? Like so? No, I put it in my put it in my inventory. Alright, can I just drop it like so? Yeah, that works. Yeah, it should be fifty percent now or so. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, see, I'm picking up huge I, I was wanting another half hour one. Oh well. Let's speed things along here. Wonder. 900, 900, 900. <laughs> I, I don't think we have another small piece in here. All right, let me check here. We've got an hour left on the I stove, so food. I'm going to need to add a little bit of wood to this. Let's get rid of some of this crappy reclaimed wood. Still got some outside that I haven't even brought in yet for the meat. Yeah, we're getting closer to being sort of matched up. But still a little bit off. Getting real tired now. Can't believe it's putting out so little light. Be hungry again. That's okay. Actually, you know what? Let's gotta eat something. Let's eat. Uh, yeah, let's eat some of this. Acceptable <laughs> bannock. Acceptable. Not the best. Not the worst. Acceptable. I think I'll have some wolf meat just for the heck of it. And I got the bear meat to eat, but I'm gonna go with the wolf meat. I feel like having wolf today. So, and uh, yeah, let's just do another one. It'll kick us up to like two percent, I, I think. Parasites, about four percent. Okay, that's right. Jumps pretty quickly there. I think I will get things even up here. So let me go ahead and move time along here. Pick up 
pick all these up and put them up in one little Someone's pile. Someone's gotta go. Alright, there we go. Let's just drop them all here. There we go, that's better. Not so spread out. Hour and five, hour and five. That's, that's better. I don't want to use my coal. That will be close. I think we'll need another fir wood. I gotta get a drink as well. Those are cooking good. Is it like not even noticeable? Nah, yeah. It's just, if I, so I, wish, I wish I had made these smaller right pieces here. like you guys said. get a drink. It's alright. 29, 29. See, these were, these were small ones. They must have been buried. I happened, happened to grab two small ones. That was lucky. Oh no, I grabbed another small one. Shoot. Hold on, let me put this back. That's better. Okay. I like to save the cedar wood to start fires with there. It's a little bit easier to start fires with. It's a softer wood. So. Okay, well, very tired. Nothing to do, but keep cooking. What time is it now? Oh yeah, we're gonna be sleeping in a little bit. 31 and 30. Oh, nice. What's this one? That's a small one as well. Cool. We should... Yeah, we should be good. Then we still got a little pile outside, but... Maybe I can go find a, another 31 minute size one. I think it's going to be around 500 calories or so. Four something, 500. Oh, wait. That's not the right... That's not the door. There's the door. Yikes. That looks nasty outside. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want. Nope. 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 None of these. How about you? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave these to cook later. A couple out there. I'm I just need to get some sleep, I think. I think we've done done a pretty good job so far. 42 minutes. That's my water situation. i am probably add a little bit of water here. Cook up just a little bit more. We'll get two more liters here going. So let's do that. There we go. And I'll uh, add another fir wood. That should be pretty close to being... I should be able to go to sleep without having to maintain this thing. 215. Yeah, that should be good. Alright. So we should be able to go to sleep. This I don't know, maybe it'll burn. It might burn. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna watch it here for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Past time here. 48 minutes. Alright, ooh, it'd be close. It might might boil itself dry. I don't know. Let's see. 54 and 41. I would have been all right. I would have been all right. I can. Yeah. Oh well. No big deal. Okay. Let's get a drink before we go to bed. And we have plenty of calories. I think. 
We should. Oh yeah, we got lots of calories. Okay, let's get some uh, get some much needed rest here. There we go. Sounds like the storm passed. It's arrived yet another blizzard. 40 days, 6 hours, 37 minutes. Bunch of nasty looking bear meat. But I want to take it all outside because it'll deteriorate slower outside in case we get really desperate for food. I can't imagine that. But I will. Should have put it outside before I went to sleep. It's starting to weigh me down. There we go. Oh, it's nasty outside. All right, back inside we go. No need to be stuck out in that. You don't have to be. Let's get a drink here. How are we doing on water? Yeah, that's, that's better. That's better. Okay. I guess I could have used a recycled can, can too for, for water, but I forgot it was over there. This one's cured. That one's almost cured. 35%. Still cured. All these are cured. Right? Yeah. Alright. Well, we are not traveling anywhere until the storm passes. That's for sure. Let's see how our food's doing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna eat some of this. It deteriorates pretty quick. I'm surprised for like a flatbread that it, that it deteriorates that fast. But uh, I'm gonna definitely want to eat this while we have the chance. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, let's eat the lowest one first, I guess. I mean, it's only two two percentage points difference, but. These are down to 38, 39 already. Two pies. What is it? Oh yeah, crude peach pie. It's crude now. And these are down pretty low too. Alright, we'll just stay full for the next few days and enjoy eating these, I guess. That's that's fine. So let's have a little porridge, I guess. I'm just gonna load up, man. It's cold, unfortunately. Should have a headache now, right? Did I? I thought I ate a peach pie. Did I not? I was trying to get a little bit of everything. Yeah, well, we're up to maximum calories, so I'm not gonna eat a peach pie now. A little bit left over. All right. Um. Yeah, let's just get a little rest here. Should have probably just passed time because it's getting late in the day. I don't want to be like wide awake at night. I guess I gotta just always climb up and down a rope a few times. I would like to get over to the camp office if possible. Take the bear. I'll take the bear rolls and the pelts with me. All the stuff with me. Uh, not not all the guts. Maybe a couple. But uh, yeah, definitely take all these. I'll be maybe a little bit heavy, but yeah, I'll take the oil and the stuff. But I think the, the blizzard still sounds like it's pretty nasty outside. Oh yeah, it is. It's white out. Negative 29 degrees Celsius. Not fun. We don't want to be out in that. Okay. Well. Let's try, uh, let's try just passing time. Let's, let's go around. Let's see if we get some favors. Oh, sounds like it died down. Sounds like it died down nicely for us. Oh, yeah, this is good traveling weather. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll head on over to the camp office. We'll get loaded up here with uh, our hide so I don't forget anything. Oh, we just went over. Wait. Not bad. Just went over. Barely. Uh, what can I do? Can I eat one of these? Just to... Give myself a nice headache? <laughs> Alright. So be it. For those guys that don't like me starving, I'm definitely not starving this episode. Starved a little bit at the start, but... 
All right. I wish I could eat all this meat, but the parasite risk right now with the cooking level being low. Can't do it. Can't eat tons of it. But there will be a time in the near future where we can have as much predator meat as we want. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all take care.